The origin of the Irish setter is not known, however, it's reasonable to believe that it evolved from a combination of some land spaniels. These land spaniels were imported to Ireland from Spain when the Spaniards helped the British in the rebellion against the British. This breed, established as early as 1800, was not originally a solid color, but a combination of red and white. Through selective breeding, the rich mahogany red color we know today was derived. Irish setters first came to the United States in the early 1800s. Irish setters were originally used to set game, hence the name setters. They found upland birds crouched down close to their find so that the hunter could come and throw a net over the dogs and birds. When firearms were introduced, this practice was discontinued and the hunter wanted a dog that pointed, flushed game, and hunted with an upright stance. Setters today, with their keen noses and independent spirits, are the choice of many sportsmen who enjoy going afield with a good bird dog. The Irish Setter is an active, aristocratic bird dog, rich in mahogany color, substantial yet elegant in build standing over two feet tall at the shoulder. The dog has a straight, fine, glossy coat, long drawn ears, chest, tail, and back of legs. A field, they are a swift moving hunter. At home, a sweet natured, trainable companion. The Irish Setter has a rollicking personality, or rollicking, <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Shyness, hostility or timidity are uncharacteristic of the breed. An outgoing, stable temperament is the essence of the Irish Setter. Remember this breed has a high energy level which requires regular exercise. Most Irish Setter owners purchase puppies to be friends and companions. Responsible breeders are happy to sell puppies to loving homes and sell them with restrictions on breeding. There are for the protection, these are for the protection of the breeder and the dog. If the breeder considers the puppy pet quality not to be shown or bred, AKC registration papers may be withheld with written consent of the buyer, or AKC limited registration may be provided. Owners who desire to breed their puppies upon maturity should seek the advice of the breeder. Breeding a litter is a big responsibility, one that continues for the life of the offspring. It should not be a frivolous undertaking. Responsible breeders spend a lifetime attempting to produce mentally and physically sound, genetically healthy puppies. One should never breed a litter, litter without fully understanding the work involved. Irish Setter puppies require love and firm, intelligent training. They must be persuaded to obey, but never by force or abuse. Provide a safe and closed area for daily exercise, or exercise them on a leash at regular intervals during the day. Feed a nutritious, balanced diet while your puppy is getting accustomed to its new home. Follow the breeder's recommendations about feeding.
Good job, Alla. First born on July 22nd, 2013 from Roll Tide Alla and Red Morgan of Swan Creek. A female born at 3.25 p.m. And first cry was at 3.34 and it is now 3.38. This little baby has been born into this world for a whole 13 or 14 minutes. It's a good job, Alla. It's a good job, Alla. Who's a good mama? Who's a good mama? Good job. You want some ice cream? You want some ice cream? Now the Irish Setter puppies are eight days old. They have four boys and two girls.
Out of here. Amber out of here. Out of here. Sit. Sit. <laughs> 